Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Gabriel Martinelli could leave Arsenal this summer. Gabriel Martinelli could leave Arsenal with Ebola in Portugal perhaps surprisingly claiming that he's on the verge of moving on from the Emirates with Atletico Madrid keen on the forward and Juventus are also interested according to Toto Sport. Martinelli is definitely a fan favorite amongst the Gunners supporters. He's certainly one of the most exciting signings the club have made in the last few years. The Brazilian made an exhilarating start to life at Arsenal and he has rediscovered his best form after some torrid luck with injury. He deserves a lot of credit for the way he has made life difficult for Emile Smith Rowe as the Englishman looks to hold down his spot on the left of the front four. Arsenal fans will be seriously excited about what the future holds for Martinelli, but perhaps that future may not take place in North London. Ebola in Portugal and Tut Sports actually reports that Martinelli is on the verge of leaving Arsenal. Atletico Madrid and Juventus are said to be admirers of the 20-year-old. It's a huge surprise to see Martinelli linked with an Arsenal exit, and in truth, Many supporters will probably dismiss the idea that he could leave in the summer. Previous reports claimed that Arsenal have no intention of selling Martinelli, who has been described as unbelievable by Jorgen Klopp. It would certainly worry a lot of fans if Arsenal even considered letting him leave. Arsenal have a number of extremely talented young players with incredibly high ceilings, and the longer they stay together, the more likely it's that Arteta's man will achieve something special in the years to come. Martinelli is definitely one of those with such a bright future ahead, and according to me, Martinelli will stay at Arsenal, and he's not going anywhere. Romano says Granit Xhaka could leave Arsenal. Fabrizio Romano has told Kaut offside that Granit Xhaka could leave Arsenal this summer, with talks over his future likely to take place at the end of the season. Xhaka has enjoyed one of his best seasons with Arsenal. The Swiss has been crucial in the middle of the park for Mikel Arteta's men as they push for the top four finish in the Premier League. Of course, it has been a remarkable turnaround over the last 12 months for Arsenal, but also for Xhaka. Heading into Euro 2020, it appeared unvitable that the 29-year-old would be leaving. In fact, reports claimed that a move to Roma could be imminent. Ultimately, however, Chaka ended up staying put, and Arsenal have certainly benefited from keeping him. Nevertheless, Romano has now suggested that the Giallorossi remain keen on Chaka, and talks about the idea of the midfielder leaving Arsenal will be held in this summer. We could see midfielders leaving Arsenal as well, Romano said. Granit Xhaka has always been on Jose Mourinho's list for Roma, but has not received communications from Arsenal so far. He will talk about it with the club at the end of the current season, but no distractions during the UCL spot race, Romano told Kaut offside. It would surprise some if Xhaka did leave Arsenal in the summer. He has been superb at times this season, and while he does not wear the armband, he's seen as a real leader at the club. However, Arsenal keeping their options open is probably best for everyone. Some Gunners will probably never fully trust Chaka, given some of the mistakes he has made down the years. La Liga outfit reported to be keen on Arsenal winger Nicolas Pepe. Sevilla could save Arsenal from continuing to pay Nicolas Pepe's salary from next season as they become interested in the Arsenal man. Pepe has struggled at the Emirates since he moved from Lille in 2019. The Ivoirian was one of the finest players in League One before his transfer. The Gunners expected much from him, but he has been a flop and he cannot even get into the team in recent weeks. The next transfer window offers them a great chance to remove him from their squad and he might move to Seville. Super Deporte claims the Spanish club's director of football, Monchi, likes the Arsenal man and he would look to sign the winger. However, it would depend on how much the Gunners set as Pepe's asking price. Pepe has been one of the worst transfer decisions we have made as a club, and it's even more embarrassing to think we broke our transfer record to sign him. He doesn't fit in Arteta's style, and we need to get right of him as fast as possible. That means we need to lower our asking price so that Sevilla can help us remove him from our payroll. It's increasingly likely that Edin Ketea is going to leave Arsenal. Edin Ketea is increasingly likely to leave Arsenal amid interest from West Ham, according to a report by the Daily Mail. Ketea has been handed his chance to shine at the business end of the season and is taking it so far, netting twice in Sunday's 2-1 win over Leeds United. 
Nketiah was on loan at Leeds under Marcelo Bielsa, but struggled to establish himself there, perhaps somewhat unfairly, and has had to be patient at Arsenal. The issue surrounds his lack of game time, but third meeting over his future is now planned to see if a resolution can be found. The report reads, West Ham are ready to take advantage of Nketiah's contract stand off with Arsenal and will move for him if there is no resolution. Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta also made a plea to Nketiah after the win over Leeds saying that they absolutely adore him, but the prospect of him leaving is increasing. Nketiah's representatives have had two rounds of talks with Arsenal, and another meeting is planned to see if they can find a way forward around how much game time he will get. A number of clubs are on alert, but West Ham are understood to be in pole position to pounce for the 22-year-old. Nketiah is doing his utmost to prove he has the quality to lead the line for Arsenal, but there have been plenty of rumors in the press about them trying to sign a new striker in the summer. They might even get two in, and it seems they would be happy for Nketiah to stay but without the guarantee of serious game time. That looks like an impasse which has been impossible to get around so far, and it might be an idea for Nketiah to go somewhere where he plays more regularly. Arsenal agree new three-year contract for experienced squad player. Arsenal have reportedly agreed a new contract with midfielder Mohamed El Nini to keep him at the club until 2025. The Egypt international has shown his importance to Mikel Arteta's squad in recent times and it seems a good move to keep him around even if he's not likely to be first choice on a consistent basis. Journalist Ekrim Connor tweets about El Nini's future, stating that a deal has been agreed for him to commit his future to the Gunners for a further three years. Arsenal fans will hope that this doesn't mean an end to their plans on strengthening in midfield this summer, as it seems clear changes are required. As Fabrizio Romano noted in his exclusive column for Cout Offside, Arsenal could still lose Granit Xhaka to Roma and have a number of targets in mind for that position. El Nini will still have a role to play at the Emirates Stadium, but Arteta will surely mostly look to build around Thomas Partey and a new midfield partner. Arsenal now in pole position to sign Aaron Heike. Arsenal are now in prime position to sign Bologna defender Aaron Heike, according to reports coming from Italy today. Outlet 1000 Kyori Rosoblu claims the Gunners are now at the front of the queue, make a move for Heike, who could command a £17 million fee. Napoli are also said to be in the race to sign the Scott. Heike, 19, moved to Serie A after impressing for Hertz in Scotland. Since his move to Bologna, he's impressed further, making just shy of 50 appearances for the Italian outfit. Should Arsenal beat the competition to Heike, then they will be seeing of the likes of Manchester United and Tottenham to the signing of the young defender. Heike, who can play both left and right back, will be seen by Mikel Arteta as the ideal sort of signing for his project at Arsenal. Branded as a terrific player previously, Heike has certainly lived up to the hype since moving to Italy. However, it's now apparent that a move to the Premier League is the next step for the Scotland youngster. Arsenal also have relations with Bologna already, having snapped up Takahiro Tomiyasu during last summer. Scotland are producing a fair few young players recently, and Aaron Heike seems to be one of the very best from north of the border. Heike has been excellent in Bologna and at just 19, he looks like a real talent in the making. The fact he has nearly 100 top fly appearances to his name already speaks volumes. For Arsenal, Heike fits and ticks so many boxes at the club. Arteta is keen on signing young players who he can really develop, and the Spaniard will fancy his chances of improving Heike. Ornstein reveals Arsenal's top midfield target. According to The Athletic's David Ornstein, Leicester City's Yuri Tielemans is at the top of Arsenal's list for the number 8 position. With the Granit Xhaka's long-term future under doubt, central midfield is one of the priority positions for the Gunners in the upcoming transfer window. Several names have been linked to the North London outfit in the past few months. However, Tielemans currently holds the strongest appeal to the hierarchy at London Conley. With only 12 months left on his deal at the King Power Stadium, the Belgian international will be allowed to leave for a lower price. 
and Arsenal are ready to pounce on the opportunity. In his reports in The Athletic, Ornstein wrote, Arsenal's key decision makers are thought to be in favor of acquiring the former Monaco midfielder, and a dialogue with his representatives is said to have offered cause for encouragement. That would be music to the ears of the club's faithful, who would jump on the chance to see Tielemans in the ironic red and white jersey. The 25-year-old has made 154 appearances for the Foxes, since his £35 million move from French side Monaco in the summer of 2019. Since his switch to England, he has scored 24 goals and assisted 23 times, which is an impressive number considering the fact that he plays as a central midfielder for a Brendan Rodgers side. A midfield pivot of Thomas Partey and Tielemans already makes me feel excited. A world-class striker with Gabriel Martinelli, Martin Odegaard, Bukayo Saka, Partey and Tielemans operating behind him already makes me feel super excited. Just cannot wait to see the new Arsenal. Hopefully, it will be in the Champions League. Arsenal really thinking about adding Premier League winner to their squad. Arsenal is considering a summer move for Raheem Sterling as he plays for Manchester City without a new deal. The England attacker's contract expires at the end of next season. He has been in talks with the citizens over an extension, but they haven't reached an agreement yet. The Telegraph claims Mikel Arteta will look to add him to his squad at the Emirates if the former Liverpool man becomes available for transfer. The report claims Sterling has put talks with City on hold for now until the end of the season. However, because the champions don't allow their key man to run down their deals, his future will be decided this summer. It remains unclear how keen City is to renew Sterling's deal, but what is clear is that Arsenal will pounce if he becomes available for a transfer. Sterling has been one of the finest players in the Premier League in the last few seasons, and he has already won all the domestic clubs trophies available to him. The attacker will take us to a new level. But we cannot wait for him. We need to act on other players on our wish list before he decides on his future. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.